Hi, my name is Julianne Devlin and I am the author of Nibbler's Aster Adventures. I just want to go through one little aspect of that resource. It has got um, a little puzzles book or a daily record book that goes along with it. So as Aster is a framework, it's a case for um, young children learning through play. So we're looking at um, junior infants, senior infants, age group here. And um, this booklet basically has everything that you need for oral language while you are doing um, learning through play okay and when I say that um, we've got some puzzles in it dot to dots and uh, little mazes and so on and colouring in bits into different themes but um, I'm a firm believer in oral language and I, um, I do a lot of uh, speaking at conferences and that about oral language and basically the we have to close the word gap that there's a large word gap now between children and um, mainly it's because of TV and too many electronics and different things like that so they don't get to hear the conversational language or the figures of speech and that lovely rich vocabulary that, that they should be hearing and this will help with that okay so just to give you a rough idea as in it so there's 100 pages um, lovely colorful attractive for children and I don't like to call it a workbook because a workbook is something that you're you know going through page by page this is basically one little section a day it's just this little section basically it'll take you about five minutes ten minutes to go through that every single day and by the end of each little topic the mountain of or language that you have covered with your child without you realizing it or without they realizing it um, would be magnificent. So basically each little section like I was showing you has got a word of the day like this is fierce, talented, amusing, fantastic just as an example and there's a little picture or a dot to dot or tracing over lines so some little fun element as they discuss their word amusing. But the other aspect of it is with every day they get a new word there's one other thing to do such as discuss a tent maybe the tongue twister of the week. Discuss your feelings, which is very, very important at this time, especially, okay, that the children get for mental health, well-being, they get to talk about how they feel, and you've got your idioms as well. Idioms are very important because of, um, well, just understanding the English language, understanding the figures of speech, okay? Very useful as well if your child is uh, autistic to understand there's a literal meaning as well as a metaphorical meaning, or for any uh, students, maybe children learning language as an additional language, okay? The tongue twisters, are very important because they practice articulation they practice um, you know pronouncing your consonants your vowels alliteration is in there as well like this would be all L's Lucy look lucky look sorry likes lines and as well there's debates in there too like for this one um, we have got a debate we have got should animals be kept in a circus you've also got then positional language so having fun with that you know what's beside next above uh, near in between all that important language and as well then maybe um, describing a character so you would describe a character to your child you'd ask them can you draw a round face so put on some wavy gray hair some green eyes or oh, I'd love to see some freckles and a smiling mouth and bushy grey eyebrows so just by speaking with your child and getting them again five ten minutes a day word of the day and one little simple activity by the end of two or three weeks you have covered tongue twisters feelings idioms debates talking about objects creating little stories and that and again five or ten minutes a day all right and that is all from uh, cleverkids.ie and I'm um, very very excited about it so I hope you enjoy it